worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours Come, rain or shine I'll cover you up and calm the sky of local matters. I'd like to note that the committee received a request from Senator Lovely's office, the sponsor of Senate Bill. In the middle of the plate. And so when, when vehicles are, I'm going to use the Molly Bish example, for example, you know, in June of 2000, her mom recognized that there was a, a, a strange vehicle, um, was a, a suspicious vehicle where Molly was working as a lifeguard. Uh, and, you know, did, just couldn't recognize or remember the license plate. But these are now being seen in, in other um, countries um, where using this type of technology, it's using a symbol that people are more likely to say, oh, it had a blue star. And then they might even remember the color of the vehicle, <coughs> maybe even the name. Um, I have, I have uh, always co-sponsored this bill. I want to thank the the advocates who have been working very hard on this bill for a number of years. And I think it's something we really need to take a very serious look at. So I well, just wanted to register my support for S-2451. Thank you for your testimony, Senator. Any questions for the Senator? Seeing none, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the chairs and other members of the committee. Um, after Elizabeth Smart was taken out of her own bed and Molly Bish was abducted, raped and murdered, I made a commitment to do something about child abduction. The key to abduction, I'm a multi-patented inventor by the way, the key to abduction is the vehicle. They don't grab a kid and bring him on the bus. So how do we identify a vehicle? If I ask 100 people in a room what their own license plate number is, uh, well over 95% will, will not know their own plate. Can we agree that we should try to find if there's a better way of, of uh, identification of license plates? I can say with great confidence that the Senate Bill S-2451, also known as the Easy ID License Plate Program, is the most compelling safety measure which will ever come before this committee. Uh, why is that? It's because 70% of all crime involves the usage of a motor vehicle. and. The members of the of the committee here, you you will you will have people in your district which will be abducted, raped, murdered, tra human trafficked, etc. And how do we identify when you see something, say something? We have the Amber Alert, but if we don't have something to put up there, uh, it, it it's useless. So when you take a look at the binders that I gave out there, there's there's just some small excerpts from the the support that. Uh, we have for this program. You can actually look in the endorsement page. If I brought all the endorsements, it would be a stack this, this high. This is the District Attorneys Association. This is the New England Chiefs of Police, the Boston City Council, Arbella Insurance, Pioneer Institute. You go on and you take a look at how many people have uh, written uh, letters of support for this. And to vet the program, New, uh, the New England College of Optometry did a pilot study and showed the effectiveness of the program. 96% retention of what the symbol is. This is a, a, it's a, it uses universally recognizable symbols, a star, a heart, a diamond, a square, a circle, a triangle. That can be used in any one of the characters and it creates so many more mathematical combinations that 90% of the plates in all of New England could go down to four characters. Now, the, uh, one of the police organizations said, can you give us an example? So what we did was, we, we said, okay, how about a blue SUV? And, um, and we got two, two of the characters. And so this is an actual, I have all the boards over there if you want to see everything in more detail. Um, and by getting just these two characters with that other information, it narrows it down to 12 vehicles versus the same information on a Massachusetts plate, 12,000 vehicles. 
Every second is critical when it comes to abduction or any type of crime. And 40, when, when, and we take a look in the front page there, 44% if, if abduction leads to the death of a child, 44% will be dead in the first hour, 74% within three hours, 91% in 24 hours. So in, in Babson College just uh, uh, completed a study, and the ink is almost uh, not even uh, dry yet, identifying every one of the members here of the, what the impact is in your uh, district. And they have offered to run the program, do the training, do this. So it's extremely compelling that we please take a look and, and vote on this favorably. All the questions that you might have can be answered in, in the frequently asked questions there. We, you know, we, we, this is pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple. This is for two uh, ages two and up, all right? We're just using them the way they, they should uh, be used uh, as well on license plates for ad additional identification and to create more mathematical combinations. Um, I'm glad to take any questions you may have. Thank you for your testimony and your patience, Gary. Uh, is there any additional questions from members of the committee? Just one quick yep. question, Mr. Chairman Crichton. Um, thank you very much for, for your testimony. I'm just curious about this may be in the bottom here, so I apologize. No, the, please. Uh, 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 yes. What other states have implemented similar? Uh, this, this is homegrown. Okay. Okay, this is homegrown after, after uh, Molly Bish and, uh, was taken. It, it haunted me. And I said, I'm going to do something about child abduction. Like I said, I'm a multi-patented inventor, so I put my focus on what can be done to the system that is now broken. It does not work. When, when 1903, Massachusetts was the first state to put a license plate on vehicles. And Massachusetts can be, you know, first again. I don't know if you've ever had any type of uh, this level of support when you take a look at the organizations that, that are behind this. And, and, and begging, you know, for this. So, um, thank you. Please. Any, any additional questions from the membership? Seeing thank you very much for your testimony. You. Please identify yourself. Mr. Jim, Jay Gardner. And it's a little disjointed. My counterpart, Gabby Richard, testified earlier on the Easy ID program, okay. and I sure. apologize. So Certainly, don't take your You time. understand. That's okay. I, one of the things that I just talked to Gary out in the in the lobby. We have no entrepreneurial component to this. There's no, there's no financial benefit to us to putting this together. I served as the executive director for the Molly Bish Center. And I, I, I come through public health, former commissioner of health and human services, but I learned about public safety. And I will tell you this, there's a data point that you need to all understand because your counterparts, your predecessors in 1903, started, Massachusetts being the first state to issue license plates. And since then, other states have followed, the cascaded across the country. It is now six carats, this is alphanumeric, right? This is general issuance plates. Some states are seven, some states are eight. But there's a data point from one of your vendors, the Commonwealth has, it's 3M. And on their website, it says, 70% of crime involves the motor vehicle. Less than 1% of the time is an eyewitness able to capture that plate. I will tell you anything, as you know, that works 1% of the time is, is in essence broken. Your watch, this technology, your car, this system is broken. And the question that has to be answered is, who's working on it? Who's looking to modernize it? And the simple answer is no one. No one across the country, and we have traveled out of our own pocket. I'm not take, making martyrs out of us, but no one is working on this. And the Easy ID program puts technology. There's a, the alphanumeric that you have on that license plate isn't built on cognitive science. It just evolved. 1903, it was numbers. In the 50s, we added letters. It doesn't cognitively align. And as a result, what do you hear? The police are asking for your help and you see the grainy photo from the gas station video or from Bank of America, and the police are asking for help. Law enforcement at every level, state, local, and federal, international, right? The legal community, the District Attorneys Association has endorsed this. You saw, probably saw our endorsement board, or it's in your pack. I can tell you, there isn't one organization or individual 
that has been shown the EZID program that hasn't signed on to it, not one. No one has taken it under advisement. They've, a, they've issued a support letter. It needs to be modernized, and we're able to do that so it cognitively aligns. Any culture, individuals at a very young age will be able to identify a motor vehicle, 70% of crime. It started with child abduction, but quite frankly, it crosses all in the DAs. We're going to be in front of the DAs. Joe Worley, dis, excuse me, District Attorney Joe Worley invited us back for the 20th. They want to come back again. The insurance industry, our Bella, we all pay the cost for not being able to identify a vehicle. Is that my bell to, to go off? No, no, oh, that's okay. just, yeah, that's oh, okay. Your um, I, I wasn't sure. I, I, I will tell you this. If you could just close, sir, that'd be great. That, uh, <laughs> 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 I know it's true. Thank you. I appreciate it. A former a friend uh, in Central Mass. I will tell you this. If you were, you don't make, need it all the time to be able to identify a vehicle, but if you were a loved one, need help. If you were a loved one, your, your spouse, your grandchildren, your children, if you need help or you want to help someone, what system would you want to have in place? The alphanumeric, the nanogram that we have now, or the Easy ID program? It's a retrieval cue. It's been scientifically verified what we need. We've gone down to MCI, right? We've gone down to Cedar Junction, and it's like out a Hollywood movie. They put them in. You see how this works. It isn't about dollars. It's about $25 of, it's, they said, this is nothing more than a specialty plate. We can do this for $25,000. Gary and I said, we'll come up with that money. We will come up with that money if that's the case. But quite frankly, the cost, it's important to talk about the cost because the cost we pay right now but not doing anything is exorbitant. The Molly Bish case, I spoke to Ma Maggie Bish on the way up here, and she said she wanted to say thank you to all of you. It's been 25 years. Next month, they're going to celebrate. They're going to not celebrate. They're going to remember Molly Bish being, and, and most of you know, she'd be 41, probably the age of some of you right now, right? I'm much older. 25 years ago, she was abducted. It still hasn't been solved. It's the most expensive case criminal case in Massachusetts history. The data is compelling. The question is, who's going to step forward and do it? We're here to help. We'd like to move this forward. It's been a long struggle, but it makes sense. We've been across the country. We've been, we got flown out to 3M. 3M, who, who actually I, I referenced earlier, they sell all the reflective material for license plates. So this is a good idea. This is a good idea. This makes sense. AMBA, the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators, says this aligns with your best practices. You'll see our support board, right? The Pioneer Institute said this makes sense. And I don't think it's about fatigue or if people saying we don't, they just don't realize there's a way to do things differently. Look at the car today. It's been modernized in public safety, transportation, electrical, and beyond. That six by nine piece of real estate at the back of the car has not been modernized since 1903. It's time, gentlemen. It is time, and ma'am, it is time to move that forward and we're here to help anything you can do to help us it's been a long journey and it's our passion to make this happen thank you for your testimony any questions for jay Falls